Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Alexander Sekulich, and I'm a dermatologist and researcher at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I'm here to talk to you about research presented recently at the annual Congress of the Society for Melanoma Research. It focused on a very unique case of malignant melanoma that uh, provided information beyond what we thought uh, would be uh, available. In this case, uh, a, a young woman developed melanoma which uh, developed into a metastatic disease. Uh, soon after delivery of her uh, newborn, uh, the baby developed melanoma as well. This is a very uh, unusual uh, set of uh, uh, circumstances that we have seen described in medical literature only on several occasions. Uh, both mother and the baby have um, had a type of melanoma that contains a mutation in a gene called BRAF and as such it's um, a target for a newly, newly approved therapy uh, that targets such mutations. Uh, mother was treated with this therapy and responded very well. Uh, the baby uh, was also treated with similar therapy in a modified dose regimen, uh, which is the first case, I believe, of the infant treated with this uh, medication. And the baby uh, also has responded very well. Unfortunately, after several months, the mother's tumors uh, regrew and ultimately she passed away. We have focused on analysis of the tissues from the mother and the baby uh, to better understand the nature of the disease and uh, the mechanisms that may underlie this uh, transfer from mother to the child, as well as the potential mechanisms that have contributed to the development of resistance in the mother's tumor, which ultimately uh, um, led to mother's demise. This analysis was done by uh, what's called next generation sequencing of the genome in the mother and the baby and has provided a very unique insights. Um, we can see and track the cells in these uh, samples and we can we are starting to appreciate a picture where uh, cancer in the mother, a patient with melanoma, resembles an evolutionary tree with multiple uh, branches, so to speak, stemming from the same uh, trunk of the tree. These branches, although highly related, are also distinct from each other. And not only on the molecular level, but also possibly in the way they respond or acquire resistance or display resistance to the therapy. Interestingly, the tissue that we obtained from the mother at the time when the disease came back indicates that the uh, clone or a subset of melanoma that we saw at the relapse may be different than what we saw at the time of the initial treatment, suggesting that this heterogeneity of disease in a patient may play a significant role in how patient responds to therapy and whether the disease comes back. So further evaluation of this phenomenon in uh, cancers across the board, not only in melanoma, but other cancers where indications exist uh, that such processes also play, ro play a role, is going to be very important to better understand the disease and to better design and select therapies if we are to effectively treat these patients.